Hillary Clinton just got over $50 million for Solenda to run in 2016. That's correct. And that was from the, 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 um, the, uh, the stimulus money that they got bailed out on the, uh, on the, uh, 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 you know, with a stimulus that Obama put out in that package. And guess what happened? Well, it's Solenda still is, is, is still a company, but is it effective? No. Is GM, uh, you know, Garrett Motors effective? No. Do they take the bailout? Yeah. For did Ford do it? No. Uh, you know, GE did it. Look what happened. You have Progressive Insurance. You have also Aflac. Aflac. You know, uh, and then you also uh, you also have uh, some some of these other companies. You know, even LifeLock, a million dollar guarantee. I asked them. Okay, how many employees do you have at 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 at, uh, at LifeLock? He goes, we have fifty, we have uh, twenty three thousand workers. And he goes, oh, the million dollar guarantee by uh, if, the, if, if if say if a customer want, it gets that million dollar guarantee, and it happens twenty three thousand times. Uh, do you think uh, will you be still in business for doing that? Because yeah, because we'll get it from a we'll get it from uh, the lawyers or we'll get it from the uh, a federal government for assistance. That's what we do here. We'll ask the government for help because you're kidding me. So no, no. Of course they will. No. Of course they will. So this is LifeLock, and this is what Fox is is pushing. LifeLock. Do you really want this? And this is ta this is they're going you know they get money from Washington, but guess where it comes from? The taxpayers. That's where they get the money from in the first place. So is it really effective? I don't think so. Go ahead, Dar Darla. Go ahead. Well, I don't think so either. And I, you know, I ran for office here in Maine, and I was elected in Maine in the first part of the year. I lost in the primary. It was my first time running for state representative here yeah. in Arizona. And one of the things that that I ran on is that very sort of that we can't keep taxing people and asking for more money from taxpayers. Right. All we're doing is becoming more and more of a nanny state, a nanny welfare. That's government. right. And what we have to do, and this is what always works, is reducing taxes. Right. And that means we have to cut we have to cut programs and cut back on our governor. Our government under Obama has blossomed and bloomed into a great big fat swamp. Right. And we, we have got to cut back. And when you cut back, what happens is it puts more money back in the business owners' pockets and to the private individuals' you know, right. pockets. Then they go out and they infuse the economy. Now they're spending money. Now the businesses are able to bring more employees and expand, get a loan, you know, grow right. their business. That's where the economy grows. That's where more housing comes in and all right. of the things that affect the economy. And now, what we're doing now is printing money, devaluating right. the, the the dollar. We we are continually taking and pillaging and raping the people through mm. taxation and all the money that they're, they're stealing from us, mm -hmm. and all these vacations and other luxurious things that uh, these people on the government payroll are doing, watching porn, going to buying thirty thousand dollars worth of Starbucks coffee on our dime. All right. of these things right. have got. Okay.